Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rich Guzman. Welcome to Ace of Rich Freedom by Design. We are here. We got a little technical difficulty at the start of this live. What else is new? Well, you know why though? It's because I got my new computer built after that little fiasco that I had. Yes, the meltdown. Um, my computer was down for a while, and now I got it back up again. Got the new motherboard replaced, and we are good to go. So I am back on my original machine. I'm excited. Actually, it's new and improved. Much better. <laughs> Much better. Hi guys, so, I'm Anastasia Hall, better known as Coach Ace. Yes, good I'm to Rich see Guzman. You guys. Yes, you're Rich Guzman. I'm Rich Guzman, yes. How you doing? <laughs> and we're Ace and Rich. We are Ace and Rich. Welcome to Freedom by Design and Hot Seat Coaching Call. That's right, it's going to get hot today. So we have some new people here, new Freedom Warriors, subscribers here on our YouTube channel. And are we streaming live as well on our family? We page? are live right now. Awesome. I will be checking Facebook right now. So how's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? Regina, give me, what's give me a, what's up going on? Tell me what's going on with you guys today. You guys feeling good? Feeling pumped? Did you have a productive week? How'd it go in your business? Any news? Because I'll tell you one thing, we are going to be targeting those specific problems that you are dealing with right here on the hot seat right now. If you're stuck and you're not making any progress, if something is holding you back, whether it be mentally or something you know with your business results, we are here to help coach you on the spot, okay? That's right. That's Let me right. just get this situated here and we'll be good to go. What year? Yeah. Did you just put 17 on there? Yes, I did. Oh, good grief, Rich. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in like computer digital mode. Yeah, but digital mode, you're still supposed to know today's date. I know. <laughs> my brain, Let me see my brain, I did a lot today. Let me give a couple of quick shout outs here. Let's take a look who's here on the live. We have some guests here. Hello, hello, how are you? Okay. As soon as Rich can load up that page, I can see it. Here we go. Candice, good to see you. Candice, all right. What's happening? Good to see you. Tracy Lee, Tracy Lee, he's always on the hot seat. Yep. Even when he's painting houses, he's still on the hot seat. I Tina like Brewer, that. George Jolly. There we go. What's up? All right, good to see you guys. Who else do we have? Let's take a look. We got some new faces here, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, do. Regina Turner. All right. Good to see you. Diane Robin. Hey, girls. Good hey, to see Warner. You. What's up, buddy? LJ Avales. Good to see you, too, man. Welcome to the hot seat. Warner. Adolfo, what's happening, buddy? Good to see yes, you. Yes. Awesome. So, guys, you know how we roll, right? Teresa. Teresa. Can't forget Teresa. Yeah, there it is. She said, Let me see get... what's happening. Teresa, I didn't get the notification again. I don't know. LJ, be following. LJ, I did say LJ. You did? I didn't see Minnie though. Minnie just joined. Yeah, Minnie, hi Minnie. Yeah. Good to see I you. Hello, Minnie. If they didn't get the notification, it's because we just went live just now. Okay. Yes, guys, you didn't get the notification because we had some technical difficulties, and the reason why is because. Let me just start off by saying. Ooh, you could turn that off. You burn, turn out, your, burn out my battery. You burn out your phone battery. Okay, guys. So. Here we I go. want to share something with you before we start. Okay, what Rich wants to share? What is that? This here is my new motherboard. <laughs> yes, I build computers from scratch. So what I did was, instead of getting the same motherboard, I actually got a new one. and A different one, which is much better. And it's got more USB slots, so I don't have to worry about getting all these extra stuff added to it. So this is why uh, I, I actually uh, it came in yesterday. So this morning I started building it. And I want to make sure it was done before the hot seat, so that way I can use the computer. I'm back into my flow, and we're good to go. All right. All right, we have some questions here. So this is how it goes, okay? You guys are in the hot seat. You have questions, we have answers about internet marketing, okay? So those of you who are first that are posting a queue, and then your question in the chat boxes, whether you see us on YouTube in the chat right now during the live, or you're seeing us on the Facebook fan page in the live. We are going to go in the order that they're received. Now, I see that uh, Regina Hahn was first, so I'm going to go ahead and take her question here. She says, Q, uh, what is SiteGround and how do you use it? SiteGround is hosting, okay? Kind of like your GoDaddy, right? It's kind of like GoDaddy, but SiteGround is your hosting service yeah. provider. And, well, I mean, I would say it's more like HostGator. Is it like yeah, HostGator? GoDaddy does more domain work and oh, stuff Oh, domain like that. then. So yeah. HostGator, it's for hosting. Yeah, though. people that yeah. usually do hosting, they usually use HostGator, 
But Host Gator and Host Monster, which is the one I had before, uh-huh. we started timing out on our website. And oh, and we, we broke just, that thing. Yeah, and we were starting to time out, and yeah. our website would go blank. It was a big mess. Well, we had the reason why we broke it is because we had a lot of traffic, and then we got like a call from them, and then we had a talk to their customer service yeah. because they couldn't handle the kind of traffic we even had when we upgraded off. yeah but even when we upgraded yeah. to the higher server it was still really running slow so <laughs> somebody told us about SiteGround <laughs> right somebody told us about SiteGround yeah and that it was a better hosting service great customer service uh-huh. and oh the speed was a lot faster and you know what they were spot on so I think that person was sharing it with us so yeah. yeah. So Regina, SiteGround is just a hosting provider, and they have similar services to you know HostMaster, HostGator. Um, you know, it's really a preference. Um, we recommend them. Actually, we're affiliates with them because we appreciate their service. They've been hosting our blog on their site, and we don't have any problems with them whatsoever. And they even have great package deals, right? You, can't you get like a free domain with them? Oh can't God, you open yeah, up yeah. An account yeah. with them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. So you know, take a look at them. Or Rich, do you have an affiliate with SiteGround? I do. Yeah. So if you want that affiliate link, Regina, we'll be more than happy to give it to you. Because you'll be able to build your blog. And you'll be able to, you know, have your own domain name. And I mm-hmm. think, yeah. I think now what they do is, if you sign up with a hosting account. You could um, get a free domain name included with that, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is nice. Mm-hmm. So okay, next question. Let me see here, Rich. You're gonna have to give me the mouse, please, honey. Oh yeah, go ahead. Thank you. No problem. And give me some room here. Move yeah. over. Okay. Let me take a look here. All right. Let's see the next question. I'm still putting everything back in place. So okay. She said, um, yeah, please send her the link. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll send it to you in Messenger, no problem. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, does AWeber do the same thing as ClickMagic? Uh, AWeber does not um, do the same thing as ClickMagic. ClickMagic, you know, it tracks your opt-in rate and it, tra- it tracks your, um, I mean, literally, it, it tracks a lot more than AWeber in general because AWeber, what it, what it could do because you know your open rates as far as your emails and you know how many clicks you're getting and stuff on your emails and the percentages, but it doesn't track your opt-in rate when you're driving traffic. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. also, there's a lot more advanced stuff that ClickMagic does as well. So you know, for tracking, for marketing, ClickMagic is definitely a must. There's no doubt right. about that. Um, yeah. Just going back to uh, Diane Robin on Facebook says, "Why is SiteGround better than GoDaddy in your opinion?" We have been using GoDaddy like forever. Um, because GoDaddy, like, they're good at like domain names. They're good at like setting up your emails and things like that. But I've had the best results with um, SiteGround. Um, I've done HostGator. I've done HostMonster, and now SiteGround. And I've done GoDaddy, and I've gotten the best, best like I mean response speed. Um, you know, with with the server site ground and the customer service is good too. Mm-hmm. Regina says, "How do you but, start?" But hold on, let me what? just say what? that that it doesn't matter what you choose. Mm-hmm. If you like it, then it works for you. Then keep it. That's the way it works. You know. Yeah, so I I say to each his own. It's yeah. a preference thing. You know, exactly. whatever you service, you get the best of your service. Your money, you know, more bang for your buck. Yeah, we need to change, so we chose site ground, and I'm glad I did. Regina says, "How do I start a blog?" Well, if you have SiteGround, for example, you can go into the blog section and uh, just click blog and then, you know, add a new blog. Oh, and shit, choose, is that simple? And it chooses your domain <laughs> name that you got and you just, it installs it for you and you instantly have a blog. Look at that. Yeah, wow. and then all you have to do is just choose your theme, what you want, and uh, you're good to go. Get, yeah. get going, right? Yeah, start, get it going. Start get getting going. that thing put together, get some themes, you know? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. what we did. Very simple. Simple stuff. Yeah, I know, Regina's like, sorry, right. I had a total of, like, four questions. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, do I need click magic? Well, if you're an affiliate marketer, yes, you do. You do need click magic if you're going to be tracking yourself. As a marketer, yeah, you need click magic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. You definitely do. Yeah. Uh, by not having it, that's, you're shooting yourself in the foot. That is such a must. Yeah. You can't operate a business online without tracking your stuff because every campaign should be tracked and yeah. uh, you want to make sure you understand, you know, who's your market, who's your target audience, you know, what they what they want, what they like about your campaigns. Yeah. You won't know who's getting clicks or what to focus on if you don't understand where your traffic is coming from. 
if, whether it be free or paid. We use Click Magic for free marketing. We use Click Magic for paid traffic as well. So that's what makes it versatile. And that's why we pay, uh, you know, I guess we pay a monthly service and, or a yearly service it with it. Definitely makes it very versatile. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very, very versatile. Yeah. Versatile? Uh, say that, can you say that three times fast? Versatile? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Uh, Dyer Rob says, send us the link and we will look into it. They want the site ground link too, Rich. Cool. I mean, it helps, like, if I can help you guys with the site ground. Like, I yeah. have it, so I know my way around it very an well. An engineer told us about it. An right? engineer? Yes, yes. It was an engineer that oh, told us. We name? didn't know anything about it until yeah, the engineer, from, like, helped yeah, us out. Yeah, he's from Boston. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. I'm sorry. I forgot your name, dude. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, he told us about it and uh, he said they got great customer service and they. Norman. Ramen was it? Yaman. 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 It was Yaman. Yaman, thank you, man. So, uh, <laughs> Yaman, thank you, man. <laughs> so, it, it's just, it really does help. It, it really took care of our problem, which I'm happy with. Yes. Minnie Riley has a question. Says, click magic or click meter? Now, that's a good question because I've never used click meter, but I've, people have been talking about it. So, I can't really speak for click, click meter. All I can do is, you know, speak for click magic. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, there's so many tracking softwares out there and they're very in price. Um, I was approached to look at some different tracking and it was like literally 200 bucks a month. And I'm just like, I ain't paying that. I don't think so. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, it just varies um, on your offer. But I've heard of ClickMeter and, there, you know, there's a competitor of ClickMagic. And uh, I heard good things and bad things. I've heard good things and bad things about ClickMagic as well. So, I think it really depends on you looking at the platform and if it resonates with you you like it you're testing it it works then you're good to go mm -hmm. you know over here on youtube good answer rich over here on youtube uh we have joyce jolly who says in the chat q since not purchasing solo ads uh because we are going to do as a group What's the best way to start getting people to like, comment, and ask for more info using endless leads to communicate with people on Facebook? That's a good one. That is a good one. Okay. When you refer to endless free leads, that is an actual training course inside as an upgrade of the system known as Power Lead System or abbreviated PLS. So any PLS members out here, right? So the thing is, in that training, it's actually run by Max Steingart, who is an exceptional prospector and recruiter when it comes to understanding Facebook marketing and social networking. Now, I myself have used this course, and I've mastered it. And what I mean by mastering it is I've communicated using his script book that is actually attached to the course that you can practice with when you're communicating and making certain posts in your Facebook profile. But I caution you because most people abuse their Facebook profile and this is what's giving Facebook Mark Zuckerberg the idea that people are spamming on their profile including links to offers. Somebody asked me earlier today was with um, our company um, our primary business, Super Philly Network, wanted to know how to do the same thing. So, Joyce, you know, we're on the same page here. A lot of people are thinking, should I use my profile to, you know, do the marketing on and things like that? No. You want to use your Facebook profile to provide value. You want to provide some type of content, whether it be videos with you on them, doing Facebook Lives like this, or you're out on the bout and you're doing Facebook Lives in your car. When you have a thought, you want to talk about it and express your opinion. This is value. But it has to be related to something along the lines where it's teaching something. So one of the things that I like to abbreviate is WAIT, W-A-I-T. This will keep you on target on a daily consistent basis of what to post in social media. This is called WAIT. WAIT stands for what am I teaching? Okay? When right you on. want to know what to post on Facebook, we'll talk about Facebook. Right on. It's what am I teaching? Write that down. Yep. This way, it will keep you on target what to post daily. If you're posting content that is not going to serve your market, don't use it. Think before you post. Just like we say, think before you speak. Well, in social media, think before you post. Okay? And make sure that you're providing exceptional quality content. Even if it takes you a while. 
don't just rush posting stuff up there and if you got anything up there that's not business related because you're using your profile specifically for business and not personal use then that should be a separate account that's just specifically for social networking and adding new contacts on a daily consistent basis you can't grow a following and build an audience if you're not seeking and adding new people new blood and cleaning your profile each and every time did I just hit a nerve okay you need to make sure you're doing this maintenance because that's what I use my profile for case point example I use the endless free leads scripts every time I run into a situation with a chat so when I'm chatting with somebody, a total stranger, cold prospect, or somebody even approaching me and trying to pitch me, I can use the Endless Free Leads course that I learned this from, which is a marketing strategy that I could retort the question back to the person who's pitching at me. And sometimes with Ace, nine times out of 10, they either will end up in my business or they'll be in my list. <laughs> now, I wanna talk about two things here mm -hmm. uh, about Max Steingard. Yeah. And I also wanna talk about you know, side ground again because we're getting a lot of questions for site ground. Um, so what I did yeah. was I put the site ground um, affiliate link, guys. Cool, cool. It's in the actual um, in the chat, mm -hmm. and um, you can click on that. If that doesn't work, um, I think it's not working. Hold on, guys. And so back to Joyce. Let me finish Joyce's um, yeah. answer here. So when you want to increase likes, comments, and shares, that's considered to be your engagement factor. Okay. Not everybody is going to like your comment. Not everybody's going to like your post, but that's okay. When you're cleaning your following and your, your friends list, okay, to have new blood, that will change. That will change. Right now I'm in the middle of an experiment where I'm actually doing that because I already maxed out to the maximum on my profile 5,000 friends. Now you can't add 5,001 in Facebook because they cap you. But what I've done is I've chopped my account down from 5,000 down to 3,000 now, utilizing a uh, tool called FB Toolkit. And this thing, what it does is it literally is like some type of um, tool that's an app extension for Google Chrome browser. You can get it for free. And you go and log into your account. You hit FB Toolkit and you pick the selection of what you want the function to be. I say I want to unfriend everybody. So what I do is I'll click unfriend all or active members and what will happen is it will give me all my friends. Is that a Chrome add-on? It is a Chrome add-on. Okay, so let's go to share Yeah, screen let's share. demonstrate this so you everybody. guys can see what I'm talking about. So I want you guys so to see this. Let me just move this out of the way. You have it, right, Rich? Active members. Because yeah. we're on your computer, not mine. Uh, no, I don't. Good, so then we're going to show them how to get it. <laughs> yeah, so what we do is, like, let me just go yeah, here. Let's yeah, let's demonstrate this. You see right here, this is um, FB. So um, FB Toolkit. Yeah, FB Toolkit. So what I did was I went to Google, typed in FB um, Facebook Toolkit. And just go to, go to that one right there. That's where it is. It'll be, no, go to the Chrome. It's easier for them this way. Yeah, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. So that's it there right there. Okay, yes. so go there. And then just, um, oh, I've already added the Chrome. So I, thought, I just press add, and that's it. It added. Very, very simple. Right. Okay. Exactly. And then you can have that tool. Now, so I want to take a step back and talk about Max Steingard. Okay. So Max Steingard, if you guys don't know who he is, he actually teaches more about communicating in social media, connecting with people personally one on one. It's not prospecting. It's more like actually connecting with people. Okay. That's the way he explains it. So what you do is you're gonna go over to the training tab, and once you're in Power Lead System, you're gonna go over to where it says. Endless free leads. Let me just move that over a little bit. It's not prospecting. It's more like training tab. Endless free leads on the right. And when you click on that, so what you do is you're gonna go to training tab. Click on login. And once you're in Power Lead System, you're gonna go over again. Endless free leads. Training tab. Once you log in again. On the right. And when you click on that, so what you do is you're gonna go to training tab. Second guys. Oh, still not again. Log in again. All right, I have to look over that some other time. But you go in there, guys, and it really teaches you step by step on how to understand how to get free leads. Free leads means potential leads when you're, you know, getting out there, you're communicating, you're getting good at asking questions, you're finding out more about that prospect and things like that. Okay, really, it's called pretty much active marketing. It's okay to do that and everything, but 
for me, I, I, I like driving traffic and building a relationship, but I don't mind talking to people as well. Um, but it's a good strategy if you have no budget, but it's a skill set that you must develop. And if you develop that skill set, then it'll work for you. Now, that's, that's in PLS. And once you get in PLS, go to training. And then click on that, and you should find it right there. Uh, right, gold members have access to this. Yep, gold members have access to this. You must be an affiliate to access that training. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so now when it comes to site ground, here's the site ground area, guys. Okay, let me just go back to site ground here. And uh, back it up. Right, gold members have access to this. Yep, gold members have access to this. You must be an affiliate to access that training. So this is site ground, okay? Okay, so. And um, what we're going to do is, there are my accounts. This is good for Regina or anybody that's looking at this. Go to C panel, that little red button there. And if you want to create a blog, it's just simple. You just click on WordPress. Right there, and it says install now. I get to drop down and choose any domain I want. So they have their own domain. Yeah, any domain you want. You choose a domain. Right. They give you every, every password. I would put my own username and password right here, of course. Right. And then guess what? You just literally install and install the blog for you, and you have an instant blog. Pretty freaking cool. That's very, easy, very, man. very easy. Very, very easy. That is really easy. And then, of course, you could, you know, change your theme, and that's another training and stuff like that. But very, very simple, guys. Very simple. Well, that's how you get it going. Yeah, it's all about getting it going, guys. Right, right. All right, we are back. Okay, Rich, now put me back here. You got this big, gigantic, curved screen in front of me. And so that's all right. I need that's to see. Right. Okay. All right. So let me get back to the... So, Joyce, did that here. answer your question? I mean, we can go in depth in that thing, but we'll be here all day. I just want to make sure that I got the synopsis for you down pat, that you understand that your profile is meant only for you to post content on there. And if you want to post links to your offers, the best way to do that is in your own Facebook groups or Facebook groups that you are a member of that allows you to post in there, you know, um, a links to your business because usually some groups that are of value do this and they give their members like once a week, like a Tuesday promo day and they'll say, members, you can promote, promote whatever you want and you have my permission. The admin will allow you to do that and that's a great way to reach and network with other new people. And then the other way is in your own Facebook fan page if you have one. Not necessarily does every new beginner affiliate marketer uh, or network marketer has to have a fan page unless you are intentionally going to do some Facebook paid advertising. That's when you should have your own fan page. And it's in there hearing us twice. You're hearing us like an echo? Well, that's on you. I don't know. I have to look it up. I don't understand. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll take care of it afterwards. Okay. Because I have my sound turned off. Yeah. Um, that's strange. That well, is really who strange. is hearing us twice? Actually, you want to hit that right there. All right, cool. So where I leave off here, we have Regina's question, and now Bad let's see feed next. feedback type on Facebook. Okay. Double echo, Double many. Double echo. Mm. Okay. Don't know why. That's strange. <laughs> Maybe that. The share screen was a double echo. Um, how about now, guys? Is everything sound okay right now? Testing. How about now? The share scheme was a double echo. Okay, no problem. I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. So we'll lay off the share screen for the rest of the evening. Okay. Oh, no share screen today. Okay. It stopped once we came back on. All right. Now. No worries. Thank I'll, you, Diane I'll, Robin. Okay. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Can I, can I see it. that? I don't want to miss anybody, you know. Okay. So let me go here to... All right. Okay, I answered that question. All right, next question is coming from... You missed one up there. Let me see. Is this not purchasing solo ads? Yeah, I answered that one. That was okay. Joyce. Oh, that was a long question. Yeah. That was a long question, yeah, okay. so that's why I gave her a long answer. I got the half part, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Joyce says, can I do Facebook status posts to use some of my story and get them to like and comment? I'm going to give you an idea, okay? Here's an idea. For the next week, your homework, Joyce, is to go on Pinterest and find some inspirational quotes you can post in the morning. Just to get it going, just to practice, okay? And not only that, if you look in the back office of Power Lead System in Endless Free Leads, 
there is a booklet back there by Max Steingart. Not just the recruiting, um, the, the recruiting aspect, but also he tells you what to post and how to post. Okay, just to get things going as exercises so you can start practicing with that. And I've seen some people who actually have Power Lead System that actually study the Endless Free Leads course to teach them on how to put engagement posts on their Facebook profile just to get things going. That has nothing to do with a link to their business. It's just to get things going. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But we can talk more on that on another personal coaching session. Okay? Because this is going to take some time. Uh, Regina Hahn says, what is good and expensive solo ad vendor that is 30 cents per click? 30 cents, um, I've gotten, you know, a couple of solo ads, like for 30 cents, 29 cents, our cheapest, right, a record? I've had 25 cents. 25 cents, yeah, you, you talk them down from like 50 I to I can 20. talk them down to 25 so that, cents. That's crazy. One um, quarter. <laughs> and we can, wait a minute, we've talked them down to like free <laughs> well we have talked them down to free but we're talking about what's duplicatable here okay <laughs> okay okay um 30 cents 35 cents i've actually uh, gotten pretty like no more than 30 results. 35 cents yeah that's, and you yeah. can negotiate yeah 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 they're, they're out there they yeah. are out there you know you just got to find them which ones but i caution you though I, I really do caution you because although facebook is a great platform and this is a great platform to not just meet like-minded people <laughs> But there are Facebook groups for solo ad vendors inside Facebook that are completely, completely saturated. Literally. Ain't that the truth. There's saturation here. I'm not going to kid around here, guys. When it comes to finding a solo ad vendor, there are Facebook groups inside, you know, Facebook that have different vendors. Some are new vendors and they got new traffic, okay? And they think that they're the best of the best and everything and they'll charge you anywhere from like 60 cents to a dollar. Yep. And it's not the, the price, guys. The price has nothing to do with it because it's the same damn traffic. The thing is, it's a matter of who are you talking to to build a relationship as far as a solo ad vendor that's going to give you the best deal, okay? And we teach this in this company. We teach this in, in our, we have a course called the Solo Ad Success Formula. And if you haven't bought it yet, you should because you need to learn it. Okay. Now, usually super affiliate network members don't have to pay for it because we're already members. But if you're not interested in becoming a super affiliate and you just want to buy the course because you already have a business, that's not a problem. We have a way for you to get access to the training yeah. and you can buy the course it's by itself to teach you how to do the solo ad vendor selection process and you can understand about solo ads in debt more so that you don't make the mistakes of spending too much money buying all this traffic expecting. Isn't that the truth? Right? Yes. Okay. So over here in YouTube, Steve Brown asks, I have genealogy genealogy leads loaded. Mm -hmm. Brought them. My discussion with the start with, should I send out permission email first? I want to stay between the white lines here and not get spam complaints. Well, first of all, why are you using okay. genealogy leads list? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me uh, mm -hmm. tap into this. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with genealogy, genealogy leads is that, you know, you're purchasing the leads. Um, it's more difficult to convert them into a sale yeah. because when you buy leads like that, you didn't get permission in the first place. So by you sending out an email, you might get a high bounce rate. Yeah. And a high Good bounce answer. rate yes. will potentially not, not ban your IP in your autoresponder, but what will happen is like any emails that you create can potentially go into the spam filter because if you get a high bounce rate that's recorded so you got to be really really careful when it comes to buying leads my mentor taught me in the beginning never to buy leads always generate them always always yes because like if i go to a solo I did vendor that before when i was in mlm i bought yeah. genealogy leads list and they are they're not they're yeah. not good people, they're not good for business when people, it comes to this in, industry online yeah. professional really good professional closers use those type of leads to close them because they have that expertise and that experience mm -hmm. on how to close them. Yeah. But to take those leads and put them into, like, let's say you want to do a broadcast and, you know, get a little permission first, it's a lot harder because you might get lucky and get a few people, maybe, but it, it's just more difficult because it will create a higher bounce rate, right? So, you know, I call it permission-based marketing. Permission-based marketing is the most important way you can be a marketer by generating your own leads because let's say like right now we're doing this live and this live will stay up on YouTube 
and of course Facebook, but YouTube has our link. And when we get a lead, they already see us. So already the, the relationship already begun when they see us. They click on the link, they see the video after the thank you page, that establishes and solidifies the trust, right? Then they go through our boot camp, we educate them, solidifies more trust. And they know who we are, and they took the initiative to actually go through our own funnel. We didn't, you know, say, you know, pull them by the hair. <laughs> you gotta go through our funnel. Doesn't work that way, right? It, it, they gotta do it on their own reconnaissance, on their own. So when, like, I've heard never to buy leads. It's like the worst thing you could do. Mm -hmm. um, so just be very, very careful yeah. with those leads. Mm -hmm. I would definitely focus more on generating the leads, whether it's free marketing or paid marketing, and that way you're, you know, you're building a relationship from the get-go, okay? And and they were looking for an offer already, anyways, when you generated that lead. Yes. So that's so that's important too, you know? Yeah. So very good. Just be so. very careful. Just send them out an email. Uh, say, listen, um, I. I just try to just I'm trying to think what to say because <laughs> I don't purchase leads you know what I mean yeah you just gotta be real cautious when it comes to purchasing leads yeah yeah, yeah. okay just say hi in the first email guys. <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't mess with genealogy leads I like generating my own and yeah I like the whole paid marketing strategy where you know they come to us we don't have to worry about going to look for them you know or feeling like that awkward feeling like when you're talking to them and yeah, who are yeah, you yeah. they don't know who you are i'd rather build a relationship with somebody steve through email marketing and it's much more of an effective well, conversation right. to have than to just you know buy but, a list of all these but, people who were, were in previous mlm network marketing opportunities or probably still active with them but here's the, and but, then your offer might not be a good fit for them here's the other problem which is a major problem yeah is that you, you, when you buy leads they're not really targeted. That too. And, and, and yeah. that, right from the get-go, when I learned marketing, I always learned to generate my own targeted leads. Mm -hmm. So if I'm targeting biz ops, I know they're looking for a business. Right. It's targeted. Right. If I'm on YouTube and I'm targeting affiliate marketers, I know when a lead comes in, they're an affiliate marketer. That's targeted, mm -hmm. right? So when you build a list of targeted leads, it's more likely you're going to get a conversion when you focus on the conversion factor that we talk about when we're communicating with our list. But let's say you do all this stuff. These guys never asked to be on your list. That's why you can get a high bounce rate, and that's why you have to be careful. And the reason why we're giving you, Steve, um, this kind of reaction and answer is because Rich and I, we did this in the past. Remember when we used the live lead phone burner? We used a phone burner. We used a phone with, burner uh, with, with our leads. leads. Yeah. We did paid leads a long time ago <laughs> when we struggled. We've done it all, man. And we've done it all, okay? <laughs> and um, it's not a good feeling to be on the phone waiting for somebody to answer and then have to, like, talk to them each and every time. I'd rather talk to somebody who's waiting for me to talk to them versus somebody and who's not experienced expecting me to call them. I have nothing against it because there's people out there that can just burn through a phone burner and that they love that shit, man. I, I they do that I shit all day. I don't like that. I, I can't. It's not for me. Yeah. I yeah. Just, no. I'm an affiliate marketer. I'm looking for somebody who's looking. You yeah. Know what I mean? I, I, because, I'd rather conserve my time. Well, because they got to convince them and stuff. And, and we're, not in, we're not, in we're not in a convincing we're business. We're not in a convincing no. business. Yeah. Okay, Steve, so that's the best answer we can give you. So be very careful. Be careful, Steve. Don't end up in the spam, yeah. okay? Uh, Lordy in Tetsy says, I want to reactivate my AWeber and Click Magic since Thursday to do the AW Pro Tools since I've been off and on. So when I try to log in, they said I have to start the trial again. Is that right? Is that okay? Well, yeah. I mean, you, you will have to start the trial again. Uh, because if you've been out of the loop for a while, then, you know, that, that, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is, um, cause what I do is when people actually sign up with us and AWeber, we actually help them, you know, when, you know, a little more in depth with AWeber because we can help them that way because they took the initiative. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this link up here in oh, cool. YouTube. Uh, is it came from YouTube? The question? Or no, no, no. It was actually on Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Yeah, it's on Facebook. All right. So I'll put that link in the Facebook chat for AWeber. 
and start a new trial and if, use a different email if you have to and then um, get started and then I want to talk to you afterwards and see um, you know where are you you know that have you not done your list yet you have to do all that stuff over so we can catch up okay, okay. let me go back to where I had my bookmark because yeah. I see the questions coming in guys keep answering asking questions these are good questions I'm sure a lot of people can resonate with this stuff too Okay, so Tracy Lee says, "Q." Now, <laughs> mother sucker, laugh out loud. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did. I, did. I had to. I had to say the dying mom. <laughs> I did say mother Zuckerberg. Mother um, Zuckerberg. Um, Tracy Lee. Okay. Mother now, Zucker. since we created an email soap opera series, should we be doing more sets of five like normal? Oh, uh, where's that question? Okay. Uh, the soap opera series is an indoctrination series. It's just the beginning part of it. When you're yeah. generating the lead, it's to get them acquainted with you as they're coming onto your list. Pay attention, Steve Brown. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay? So as they're coming into the list, all right, they're getting acquainted with who you are, Tracy, what you're about, and what to expect of the future emails that you're going to be giving them that they gave you permission to receive because they opted into your list. You generated the lead, right? Now, for after the fifth email, you wanna get in the habit of broadcasting. This is why you need to have a broadcast list inside your AWeber so you can resort to sending daily broadcasts, twice a day, once in the morning, and once in the evening. This is something that is a strategy we learned through the Super Affiliate Network, through our mentor and coach, Misha Wilson, and we've been doing this consistently without fail and seeing the results in our business. And it works like gangbusters. It does because there's a strategy behind it. So in yeah. the morning, you're sending a long story-based, value-based, quality post. And in the evening, short, punchy, straight to the point, radio style. What have I said? Everything on the internet is? What? What is everything on the internet? You just threw me off again? Why did you do that? I'm in the middle of a thought and then he does that. No, no. I always said that everything on the internet... I'm always coaching to so show you know. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything on the internet is what? I don't know. You got to tell me. Because now I just, just threw me off, messed me up, man. I might as well pack my bags go <laughs> and leave this fucking show. She's, she's adorable, isn't she? <laughs> I love messing with her. And hey, it's all about having it live and having fun, right? A formula. Yes, a science and a formula, Rich. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll hear it after the I'll get them later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on the internet is a science and a formula. Yeah. And you must know this. You must understand the education and the skills it's and formula. understand the formula because yeah. it's right there in front of you. If you could just look at it from a 30,000 foot view, you'll see it right in front of you. It's obvious. Okay. okay, Tracy. So, yes, do that. All right. Broadcast list. Yes. All right. Let me see here. Who do we have? QQQ. Oh, Pedro Ibarria Jr. What? I haven't seen that name in a long time. Oh, been, Pedro. A, been a year? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's like, you guys work so hard. It's inspirational. Thank you, guys. Well, actually, we're so glad you're still following um, our our journey. Yeah. And uh, you're also a freedom warrior. And you're still participating and you know enjoying this content. But we love to work with you, Pedro. We were working in the past. I don't know what happened. I guess he <laughs> took a break, went on vacation or something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Pedro, what we do is we focus on just doing activities day yeah. in and day out. Mm-hmm. And expecting nothing in return. That's right. And and this is how we've grown our business. Yes. So, yes. if you got one other secret, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Minnie Riley says, I had a job. They had numbers on sheets of paper in a bin. They made us call them. I hated it. I lasted one day at that job, so no way I'm doing that in my own business. Let's see, it's not for everybody. No. It's not duplicatable either. That's another thing about network marketing is, you know, they, they focus on what can duplicate, but in affiliate marketing and becoming an internet marketer, totally different ballgames. What we can replicate. Yeah, we can control what we yeah, that's can right. control. Yes. Which is cool. Yes. Lordy yeah. says, thank you so much, Rich. Oh, you're welcome. Tracy Lee. Okay, cool. Got it. Teresa Morrison. Uh, there is a time lag um, on YouTube, so I'm over here now. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. You can be in both places. <laughs> it's that's all good. Cool. It's yeah. all good. And let me just go ahead and take a look here inside the chat on YouTube. Anyone else in YouTube have questions? Steve Brown says, great points. Thanks. I have access to a phone burner, but I have not tried it out. 
Yeah, that like if if you are good at communicating and you want to call, you know, those leads. Yes. There'll be a lot of rejections, a lot of you know. You got to have the stomach for it. Yes, you and do. If that works great, but um, for you though, I would really start focusing on generating your own leads uh -huh. and building your list that way. You'll have better results. Yes, David Toomey says, Q, so value and teaching on Facebook profile, links on Facebook fan pages. I have both if I understand your answer to Joyce. Yes. 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 Yes, exactly what I said. Yep, learn, do, and teach. Yes. Angela Alvarez says, that's what makes you so awesome. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I like your shirt, by the way. Thanks. Nice shirt. Thanks. Let's get that shirt. <laughs> huh? Online, I sh I'm an online shopper, man. So you're not gonna reveal the secret? Huh? No, 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 no. Okay, um, Regina Hahn. Uh, as I research and find an incredible article, can I use this in my blog? Okay, that's a good question. So let's say you're out and about searching the internet and you find an interesting article that you like to share, per se, in your own blog. There's something you need to be very careful about and it's called plagiarism, okay? Mm. You need to be very careful what you mm. share because mm. the original mm. copyright, it belongs to the original writer, the original author. So to protect yourself on your blog, if you wanna share someone's existing post, you can do this, the way I've done this is, I actually reference to them. So if I'm writing a piece of topic or content on a blog post, and I want to say, like this article here, found on xyz.com, I'm going to give them a reference. I'll put a reference point inside my paragraph, and I'll hyperlink it to that original author. We call that backlinking. There's another name mm -hmm. for when you take someone's content, yeah. mm -hmm. and you use part of their content and put yeah. it on your blog. Mm -hmm. I forgot what that terminology is called, yeah. but if I'm not mistaken, Google's new algorithm penalizes that. Yes, it's the penguin, panda, and all the zoos. All they the, have all, all the, the farm animals in the zoo. Penguin, panda, what's the next one? And uh, I, I think, I I think it's all like up north or something. I yeah, it's like they keep coming up with all these names, but yeah. the point is they'll slap you. <laughs> they yep. will slap you there's on a, copyright infringement and no, plagiarism. There's a, there's, there's a name for that, and once I find out, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys, but okay I can't, I can't but remember. now you know you got to be very very careful with that yeah, but yes I, you can give you can give reference to other authors from using their blogs and neil patel is really good at this and yeah. neil patel is um, a genius when it comes to you know blogging and and seo and things like that you have to be very very careful but he always says you want to reference those original writers their blogs so let's say for example i'm writing a blog post on mindset and i want to share something from bob proctor what i usually do is i can do this two ways i can do a visual type of presentation or i can do a written so i could take maybe a portion of that article and maybe take the first paragraph but i will say hyperlink it inside my blog for them to leave my blog to go to that original post yes or i could take a youtube video from Bob Proctor, um, and I can literally embed it, okay? I can embed the code inside my blog post, so when my readers are reading my post, they're not leaving my blog. Now, why do we not want our readers to leave our blog? Does anybody know? Do you know? What? So you tested me, I'm gonna test you. Okay, test me. Do you know the reason why we don't want our readers to leave our blog if you're going to embed a video on your post okay the reason why is the longer you actually have the viewer on your blog it actually lowers your bounce rate damn right damn right rich give me pal bam exactly you don't want them leaving your blog you want to keep your readers staying engaged you want them staying on that post as long as possible to the very end as they're reading it and you also want them to also look for other references as their eyes are looking around your page if you're playing your cards right okay you want to make sure you got lead magnets so that they can actually see them so yeah. that way you can capture them either as a lead and or if, make a sale and if you guys don't know what bounce rate <laughs> is if you don't know what bounce rate is when you're trying to get on the search engines in google right if people are bouncing off your page just like you're bouncing off your emails like we talked about earlier with aweber uh -huh. their bounce rate means that you're 
that means that less people are engaged with that content. So the algorithm kicks in and Google says, well, we don't need to really push up in search engines because it's not really relevant or people must not like it right, or right. you know many different reasons, whatever the algorithm says. But when you actually do a video, I've learned this little trick, when you do a video, people tend to stay on the, the page longer because they watch the video. Exactly. And that increases your bounce rate. And people thought that if you write long, durated, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 word we posts, done that. that you think you're going to keep your readers on the page we long did enough. That. We did that like <laughs> for like two, three years straight, man. Like oh, two, 2,000 article I did, words. I did. Man. I wrote oh a my lot. God. I wrote a lot of blog posts on aceandrich.com. But hey. It That's, did. It, we, it, it worked. We made, we but made things have changed. That, things so. have changed yeah. now, and now we actually shorten our posts, and we can actually embed videos, and you know, keep them on our pages, yep. watching videos. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh god, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So have fun with that. Diane Robin says, "Q, I am not sure if you will know this, but I use Canva for Instagram. Yes, um, and I love it. I love Instagram, and I love Canva too. Does Camtasia?" Do the same thing but better we have never tried that one no 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 camtasia does more like video screen sharing with their effects and everything their audio um you can put you can put like images in there and stuff like that but you can't really do what you're trying to do with instagram instagram yeah. you want to use stuff that's made for instagram right cam is made for instagram also another tool you talked about um you can do instagram images that you okay share, you share so with me. where's my phone I have my phone over there. Okay, so look, when it comes to Canva, I love Canva. I've, I'm not big on Photoshop. Sorry, Photoshop users. I know y'all went to school to learn this, but I am not Photoshop savvy. So what did I do? I didn't let designing, you know, um, without Photoshop stop me. I literally figured out another alternative way, and I'm so glad that Canva came out, and on top of that, as part of the beta test, I'm glad that they made it accessible on your smartphone and your tablet. So now on the go, I can create Instagram images using my existing photographs or I can download them from Google and things like that. And what's cool about Canva is free. Now have I ever upgraded to use the advanced features? No. I figured that part out too. So I figured out ways that I can use images and manipulate images just like Photoshop without having to do Photoshop. That's my that's my skill set. I can do that. So I'm a freelance graphic designer. Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't have a craft in your finger, you can literally use your smartphone, okay? And there's apps for free you can use from the Play Store for Android or the iOS. You can get that also downloaded for Instagram creativity. One of the ones is called Snapseed. Snapseed will allow you to take images and literally edit them just like you would in Photoshop. Yes. Okay? So you don't, if you're not a good, like, you want to use an alternative to Canva, Snapseed would be good. It's called Snapseed. Okay? S-E-E-D. And you can use your phone for that. Um, they have allowed Photoshop features on there. So that's cool. You can download the photo and then upload them to Instagram. You know how you come up with those pretty looking posts that actually have big giant bold letters over the quotes? You can do that in Snapseed too. Okay? You can crop out and burn out your background with Snapseed without having to pay somebody on Fiverr to do it. I've done it. Okay? So just get used to using these different things that are already accessible. You don't have to pay money or extra money out of pocket to do simple things like that. It's just a little learning curve, but it's not that bad. So Canva's a good one. And what's similar to Canva that I used to use before Canva even came out was called PicMonkey. PicMonkey lets you do the same thing that you could do in Canva, except a little bit more graphics where you can use shapes and you can, you know, whiten your teeth and take out your red eye and you can even edit photographs on there too at the same time. Yeah. So yes, PicMonkey is another one. Yeah. Snapseed, correct, Diane Robbins. Snapseed, put it together. Snapseed. All right, let's see here. Question here: um, what we got? How to embed a video into your blog? Would you like to demonstrate that? Well, I'm not going to share because then it'll be it'll yeah, be yeah. echoed. I, I'll just tell you real simple: when you go in your blog and you say "add a post" or "add a new post," and that blank screen opens up where you put the title, and then you have that box. You have your um, section, your tab where it says HTML. 
So what you gotta do is you gotta go on YouTube and if you're creating a video, and let's say you have the video on YouTube, you go into the embed section in YouTube, all right? And when you do that, uh, you just choose that code and you embed it in the HTML section of your blog post. That's yes. simple. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Dave Hobley, holy cannoli, ace. <laughs> Whoa. How you doing, Dave? There's my friend Dave right there. Dave, Dave. Hobley. what's going on, sir? Okay. Yes, Camtasia is great for webinars. Um, a lot of the uh, people are using it to do their webinars as well as do screen share, um, you know, record videos in advance. Um, we made our bridge page using Camtasia, right? Oh, yeah. And we also have an alternative to Camtasia. It's called Movavi. Have you ever and, heard of it? And here's the great thing about the other alternative. It doesn't cost as much right. Movavi. As, um, mm -hmm. as Camtasia. Yes. Because Camtasia is over, like, over 200 bucks, but Movavi is like under a hundred so it's like and I've been using that a lot more now I notice uh, because it's just slim, you know simpler and faster <laughs> you gotta hear Dave's comment Dave goes I mean rich you handsome and all but damn <laughs> he said but bam <laughs> damn He's like, I'm good. How y'all doing? We're good, Dave. I mean, things are fantastic. You know, our business is growing, you know, and thriving. And we're helping lots of these people here, all of our lovely followers and freedom warriors and subscribers. Yes. We love you yes. guys. Coming up here on every Friday and just asking us questions, you know, what we can do to help you out. Because we know how hard it is to build a business by yourself. But you're not in this by yourself, as you can see. No, and, uh, not, with, not with us. Not with not us. With us. Not with us. A lot of you know, a lot of people that they just go through the witness protection program. They do, and, and they, they run away and hide. hide, change their name and their profile on their Facebook. Their address. I'm telling you, man, this is they go to witness protection program. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. Um, Screen automatic is good too. Dave Hobley says, "Love the pinup look." Yes, I've been rocking the pinup look for a while now. You know, I've been experimenting. I experiment with fashion and different makeups and things like that. So I actually like it too. See me in Reno like that. Uh, Minnie uh, says screen o matic is good too and fifteen dollars a year. Screen cream was it screen o matic or screen cast o matic? Uh, I think it's screen cast o matic. Whether it's screen cast or screen yeah. o matic, it's actually good. Yes, but I don't like paying for things over and over when I can just pay it one time and own it. It's better right? to own it. Yeah, so let, let, me, let me just show you what I mean about Movavi, Movavi. Before you know it, you'll be paying as much as just for one software. Right, right, right. And that's the thing, you know, we, we get, a lot of us marketers, we, we see all these great tools and stuff, and we want everything, but our budget is limited, isn't it? So when you're Especially first, when you're first starting, getting out, started, yeah. yeah, when you're first starting out, you want to limit your budget to things that are going to help and compliment help yeah. and compliment so, your business right there not only do, check this out and many this is for you especially for you not only does this you know does it do screen sharing but it does actual video editing and more and it has a video converter and an audio converter the list goes on and on and on you gotta check it out it is nasty <laughs> I'm telling you I created. It I created, is nasty. Yeah, I, I, I like using it. Yeah. Yeah, we actually used the, the rest of the uh, montage that we did. Uh, most of our montages that I've done are, have been on Mobabi, and it looks fantastic. Quality. It, and, and we took overall. what we did with uh, Camtasia and we yes. put it into Mobabi, mm -hmm. and we finished it in Mobabi because it was quicker, faster, and easier. That now the head of our company loves the way it looks. Mm -hmm. It's like, what you guys use? I mean, I want that bridge page. You know what I mean? Now, now he wants to um, share it and stuff like that, which is really cool. So, for Diane Robin, Diane Robin says, "You look good, Rich. Just because you don't have on a sexy shirt doesn't mean anything." Laugh out loud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hmm. I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> uh, let me see, Ramu Rohit. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Uh, Dave Holly says, "How is that little boy?" Cool. How's the little boy? Little boy's, well, little little boy's big. Yeah. Little boy's about to be 12 years old on the 28th. Yeah. And uh, we're going to celebrate his birthday when he turns the big 12. Um, and we're going to Lake Tahoe. Yeah, celebrating his birthday in Lake Tahoe. Yes, we're going to do that. A lucky little duck. I know, he is, right? Yeah. Just traveling with mom and dad, yeah. going to Hawaii and next year and everything. My goodness. Dave's like, 
don't know if he says Lambo or No, L-I-B-O. he says laugh my butt off. That's oh, what that means. You're like a Lambo to me. Come on, you gotta know your, you know, your abbreviations when it comes to text messaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L M B O L O L, you get it? I get I get all that, but I never heard the L M B O. Okay, you know what uh uh NIMBY means, right? Dave's like, you know oh, what no. you know what NIMBY means, Let's right? Get back to, no, no. <laughs> Dave Hobble is like all grown up. Dang. Yes, he is all big yeah. and uh, he's actually no longer in um, brick and mortar public school. Nope. We actually were able to successfully enroll Angel into uh, Tekka Academy, which is an online virtual academy charter school for school for students who can do home learning from home and earn all the way from K to 12. So he's starting sixth grade and he's already in his second week and he's been acing his actual work, hasn't he? He's been, he's been cruising. He's been cruising and what's cool about him is he can finish a whole day of school two hours, tops. Just like that. Yep, some days are longer, some days are shorter, and the longest days he can do is six hours in a day and that's about it. <laughs> but yeah, he's been doing good. We just recorded an unboxing of all the stuff that the school sent them. There's and everything. a video coming up. And the yeah. video coming soon. We're going to be Where you get to up. see uh, the unboxing when they sent him his supplies, and it's yeah. 100% tuition free. And then, moms and dads, if you want to do that too, let me know because I'm on the PTO of the Tech Academy. It's not an affiliate. It's, just, <laughs> it's not. We're just sharing it's the link. It's not. It's a real school for yeah. real students. The oldest student that actually graduated with a high school diploma in history. The youngest one. The youngest, well, the yeah. oldest and youngest would be 14 years old with a high school diploma. 14 years old with a high school Valedictorian, diploma. Valedictorian, yeah. That is ridiculous. It's crazy, isn't it? Wow. How come they didn't have this shit when I was going to school? Damn. <laughs> hey, same here. You know, I, I can say the same thing. So let's see here what we got. More questions. Let's take a look. We're having a great time, aren't we, guys? Answering your questions here. Let's see. David Toomey says, how do you spell that Camtasia alternative, Movavi? I'll put it right here in the chat. There it is, right there for you. Movavi. Yeah, it is awesome. I've done all my work with it. All right, what do we have here? Um, Mar- Marie, oh, she wants to know. What is oh, NIMBY? NIMBY got it. NIMBY. NIMBY. Okay, so the abbreviation in text for NIMBY, it's N-I-M-B-Y, not N I B. I and it's not in my backyard. <laughs> not in my backyard. That's what it means. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, Dave, you're going to love that software. And did you know yeah. what? Oh, like, she uh, wants it too. Candace Trahan, she's also a following. She wants that as well. Okay, I'll put, I'll put it in the. Uh, Movavi. It's in the, um, in the chat right now, too. Uh, Movavi, you can also slow down and speed up too, which is really cool. So you know what I did? I got a, a copyright free mm-hmm. music. Yeah. And I, when I was in Maui, Hawaii, I grabbed the waves and I put the camera right down to the edge of the waves, and you could hear and you could the, like it's all slow motion the waves, right? I did that with Movavi. It's so freaking simple. I you know wish I, mean? I wish we could share a screen and we won't have that background noise because I would show you what Tekka looks like. It is freaking awesome. Don't worry about it. I'm going to redo. Yeah, we, we do our upload of our video unboxing. We'll have a link inside the description so you guys can see it. But it is not an affiliate. It's a real school, guys. And yeah. let me tell you, I love seeing how my son can go on webcam and talk to his instructors. That's freaking awesome. He's yeah, he's headset. like, yeah, and he's like, yeah. he's like emailing back and forth now. Yes. Like he's developing other skill sets. A lot more independent skill set, which is great. Yeah. yeah. And he's got his own routine and schedule. And when we travel, he can Ent- bring his Chromebook with him and entrepreneur, be in class. Entrepreneur to make it. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah. But for those of you who do want that, just send me a personal message and I'll be sure to send you some info on Tekka. Not a problem. Cool, Candace wants it too. She wants her kid in homeschool. Hey, you know what's great about homeschool about that is the fact that I don't have to do the teaching. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. You just have to go and just You just got to get them plugged in. That's yeah. it. And it's and, and it's up to you to become a learning coach so that they train you to actually monitor your kid, make sure that they're doing their stuff. That's it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Back on topic here. Israel de la Paz says, Hi, Ace and Rich. Great content today. Hey, I have my own funnel set up already with my bridge page. Very good. Nice. So to follow up with my new subscribers, should I use my soap opera sequence, which I'm still working on, and then just use the AM and PM emails provided by Misha in our back office to broadcast? How do you recommend me to set up my AWeber to do my follow-up and get started? 
Okay, as far as the AM, PM, the emails have provided, um, some of those emails are like <sighs> extremely long. Uh, what I would do is I would just grab the idea or the formula of what's going on there and use that idea. Don't use all the emails. Use the idea and learn from that, right? Because I know the soap, soap, soap series is like five days, right? But when you do the AM and PM, um, I would just learn from those ideas. I just visually seeing those AM and PMs, learn from them and start creating your own AM and your own PM. Actually, you know what? I would just copy paste PMs. PMs are just promotional, you know, buy my stuff. Yeah. But the AM is where it's really at. It sets the stage before you promote to them. So I would really focus on learning those AM emails. And as you go along, you'll learn the PM. The PMs are short, mm -hmm. straight to the point. Yes. You know? Joyce Jolly says, that is great. Why didn't they have that when my children were young? Well, you know, in today's uh, world, we are in 2018, and mm -hmm. bullying has gone to a whole nother level, hasn't it? You know what's funny? I, I, I went, and I... Uh, went online and me and Angel were checking mm -hmm. and we were looking at North Middle and South Middle which was the school in this area right and I remember like we were looking at the reviews and both schools bullying problems and, and, and the parents kept saying in the review oh well you know they should actually monitor the bullying better <sighs> and and that's the major problem it's not getting any better it's actually yeah, exactly. getting worse exactly so and this is why I don't want to get to that you know in this kind of realm you know with this hot seat that we do mm -hmm. but I, I gotta say it because kids are gonna like keep that inside two things will happen they'll snap and it won't be good two the other thing will happen is they'll get depressed mm -hmm. yeah. and suicide has gone rate in children has gone up uh, for that reason so, so I'll leave it at that parents do your kids a favor yeah. if they want to be uh, you know not bullied and they really just want to concentrate on their studies then that's exactly what you should do that is the answer um okay let me take a look here um dave holly says yes approved or affiliated by the state of florida just curious i plan to move there to be honest with you um tech connexus uh, connexus that's really what it is connexus they are in every state and some states are still in development and they haven't reached their enrollment cap yeah. which is 2500 students right and uh what's really cool about that is um you have the opportunity to literally enroll still even after the season has has just already started for back to school my son was a late enrollment because of some paperwork issues but as long as you do the work for the paperwork issues and you get your students transcripts they're in they are in man i'm telling you mm -hmm. dave i'll send mm -hmm. you some info no worries Diane right, Robin, Q. Christine Williams said that she put a question in the inner circle under y'all because she couldn't make the group. It was, how do you merge all of your lists together to put them all in AWeber? She is watching the replay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Appreciate that for her. Um, Diane Robin, so how do you merge all of your lists together? I am assuming that Christine probably has multiple offers and she's probably trying to combine the her list if I if I have multiple offers um, and I promote I'll promote into one list it's kind of like a big bucket right of all these leads mm -hmm. and I'll promote in you know I call it the broadcast list ah and, yeah aha, and then and then what I'll do is um, I'll create another list called the clickers list so that way who's ever clicking the most on the emails would be moved over to a separate list so that means they're more responsive to the offers that are coming out. Even though they're not buying yet, mm -hmm. eventually they'll buy because it starts with a open, then a click, and then a buy. So we, we, we want, the goal is that we want more clickers, meaning we want more people to click on the links. Right. But you can't make a sale unless you click on the link. True. Right? So we have to separate it that way. So we have our indoctrination series, we have our opener, and we have our clickers list. Well, no, indoctrination series. Um, opener list, which is broadcast list, and then our clickers list, which are people who clicks on offers. Very, very good. Very important. So yeah, um, there's your answer, Christine. That would be it. And let me just hear somebody's really, you guys really are curious about 
how my well, son you know, is going it, to school. When it comes to this kind of school, it is relevant to our brand, which is Freedom by Design. It and, is. It is. You know, he has the freedom. Sometimes he finishes school at two o'clock. Sometimes he finishes at twelve. I'm putting it. One in morning here for he you finished guys. at eleven, didn't he? He. Oh my God! He did two hours. He woke then, up like, like seven o'clock in the morning. Everybody's started at class. school, and he still gets up <laughs> early. I'm like. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. So, it goes it, all the way up to 12th grade. And so now he has grade. more freedom, you know? Yes. So. It's not an affiliate, guys. It's an it's an actual accredited school. It is not an affiliate. There it is right there, guys. So you can have it. Go to visit the website. Put in your zip code. See if it's actually in your state. And since we've been traveling back and forth to go to Nevada and Hawaii, yep. they have it there, too. Yeah. They're actually developing in Hawaii as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. And then Nevada, they have it in Nevada. Yep. So I'm going to put it here for the YouTubers as well. Our Freedom Warriors also are asking for the link to yep. my son's school, which I have no problem giving to you guys. There you go right there. There's some info or some information. Joyce Jolly says, do we, oops, wait a minute. Do we set up our clickers list based on your live on Thursday? Now she's talking about an inner circle group that we have privy private to our members who are uh, pro and above yeah we guide yeah. them we guide them week mm -hmm. by week on what to do to build yes. their business yes. um, mm -hmm. so that way they could start getting things going um, which I wish I had when I first started <laughs> that's why I'm doing it because I know how people yeah. feel um, so I think when it comes to the clickers list I mean you just have to look at look at the first thing right you got your indoctrination series set up mm -hmm. the second thing you have your broadcast set up Right, and then you have your clickers list set up. So the way we like to word it is like, you know, Joyce Jolly or Joyce's, you clickers know, list. Uh, primary list. Primary list, yeah. Joyce's broadcast list. Mm -hmm. Joyce's clickers list. Right. Okay. And when you do that, people that when you're broadcasting on your broadcast list, because you don't broadcast to your indoctrination series, you don't broadcast to no. people that are just coming Nothing's on your list and your there. primary list. Right. That's automatic. You don't touch it. Right. Okay? Right. Right. You set it up properly, it'll happen automatically. They'll be right. moved over to the mm -hmm. broadcast list. Yes. Broadcast list is where you're doing stuff daily, a.m. and p.m. You're communicating on a daily basis. You're staying on top of that. Okay. That's what you should be doing. And what happens is the people that start to click on those links. They start going to the clickers list. And there's two things you could do with a clickers list. You could broadcast the clickers list, different offers, or all your broadcasts that you've done, you can move them over to the clickers list and over time have like 100, 200, 300 emails. Just to keep it simple, 365 emails equals one year of offers. So could you imagine having a year worth of emails and you have offers? So when they click on the broadcast link, like when you're broadcasting on the broadcast list and they click on a the link, they get moved over to that clickers list. And then you have automatically for 365 days, they have emails to go through without you doing anything. How cool is that? Now you leverage your list. Yeah, very good. Um, Regina Hahn says, can you please post the link to SiteGround? I did. She wants it again. I think she might've missed it because it probably got lost um, in the feed. Yeah, I did. Inside the uh, chat here in YouTube. Let me see if I can find it because I know it's over here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah a lot of people. Hold on. Of course. So let me um, go over to... And let me just watch the time here. Okay. Any other questions, guys, while Rich is taking care of Regina's question here and giving her the link to SiteGround? Um, you guys getting value from this? Give us some hearts, some likes, you know, shares, all that good stuff that we like and uh, also commenting underneath the video. Um, but go ahead and post your questions. We're still live, guys. Hot seat is still on. Okay, in Facebook? No, inside the chat in, Zoom, in uh, YouTube. Okay, I'll put it in Facebook too, just in case. Okay. Um, here we go. It just says YouTube on it, redirect site room. Is that right? Hold on. And you just posted that there. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, come on. Delete that. Come on. Okay. Okay, Joyce Jai says, uh, Ace and Rich, I had to step away. What do... Hang on a second. Rich is doing something here. I'll be right with you, Joyce. Hang on. Rich's got you covered, and I can't see it.
All right. That should be it there. A lovely. No, nope, that's not it. Stop doing that way. All right, hold on, guys. Yeah. All right, take that question. Okay, well, you got to move the thing over to your side. You got big enough screen. Just move that away. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, here it is. I had to step away. What was your answer to creating a clickers list in AWeber? Well, he already answered that, so um, you're going to have to watch the replay, okay? Because he really went into debt with that, right, Rich? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just going to put a separate tutorial on that. I still might do it over. The problem is it came out really, like, kind of blurry and not really clear, so I don't want to put that up there. So just follow the tutorial that we did during the live. And then you it know, should be inside yeah, the inner a, circle group. Yeah, I might do you one can again. You follow the tutorial on how to create the clickers list. Yeah, yeah. I, might, I might do one again. I don't know yet, but mm -hmm. just use that one for now. Use that one for now. Yeah. All right, great. Um, any more questions? Let's see. Good question. Okay, so Diane Robin asked Q, can you put a link in Instagram bio but not on your post? Do you know? Yes. There's only one space that you can actually take advantage of. And that would be the actual description in your bio. You're only allowed to post one URL actively there. And this is where you as the marketer must be crafty. You, you put a main domain to go to your blog or you put a domain to your offer okay um, a lot of times I see a lot of marketers just putting their domain name because it looks a lot more neater and cleaner and other marketers use tracking links okay so they literally make short short URLs very tiny to yeah. fit in there because you can only put so many characters in the bio yes give me some hearts and likes on this answer so you can do that now as far as the comments area you could write HTTPS all day long. It's not pressable, it's not clickable from your device. Only thing that will be clickable is your bio. But you can reference for them to click inside your bio. So you could say, you could put little emojis with a finger going, hey, you know, click up there. <laughs> click bio, B-I-O. Yeah, I know. And they know where to click. So that call to action could be written inside your comment post in Instagram. Okay, so what guys, we will take one more question and then we will call this a wrap. Yep. I just answered it, Diane Robin. Did you get that? It's coming through now. It's probably a little delay. What's up? My answer to yeah. their question about uh, can you, you know, post links in Instagram. You can, but you can only do it in the bio. Yep. Yeah. How about YouTubers? What's up? I guess we're good. No questions. Dave Toomey had a comment though. <laughs> She's, he says bureaucracy is why we did not have that program when we were in school. True. I, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay, Diane Robin got the answer. Great. Uh, Joyce Jolly says, thanks, Ace and Rich. I'm at work, too. When I get pulled away, I miss the answer. So, or training, and we'll do the replay. Yeah, yeah wa the wa watch the replay. If I can mm -hmm. do another tutorial and see if I can make it work, yeah. I, I yeah. know it's like really blurry, you can't really see it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I did do it on the replay, so. All right, one more question and we're done. Who has the last and final question before we go off the air? Yes. Because we want to kick this weekend into a good start. Oh, yeah. I'm happy because my computer's back. I know you are. My new motherboard is, you know, it's like, <laughs> and, it, and it's not the same one. I got a better motherboard this time. Yeah. So it's much better. Last question of the evening. Who's got one? Come on, somebody new. Somebody new. We need a question. Question. Not a comment. Question. If I don't see a cue, then that's a wrap. If I don't see any cue, I think they got a lot today. A lot, yeah, a lot you of guys, great, yeah, great you, you guys got lots of questions yeah. today. Most of the stuff about email marketing too. Yeah, yeah. Because Most that's what that's stuff. where that's where yeah. it's at when it comes to your marketing. Mm -hmm. Traffic yeah. season. Yes. So if nobody has a question. We are going to wrap this up. This hot seat is going to be a wrap. All right. Oh, you're welcome, guys. 
Tina, you're welcome. She said, you guys make this business shine as always. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Business is supposed to be fun. Yeah. I, in my eyes, I find it fun. I'm not, you know, the uptight suit wearing female, you know, with um, briefcase and or guys going to do that, right? With the tie and everything. Well, there's a time to get serious. And it, there's a time. When we yeah. actually go off the air here and we get back to work and do our we thing. We get focused. We get focused. We get serious. We get yeah. focused. We get serious. We work in our pajamas, but we still have that right yeah. mindset of how to build a successful internet marketing business. We're not in pajamas today, though. Not today. Not today. No, no, no. We're dressed up today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that's a wrap. Rich, you want to close it out? Close it out. All right, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by our live today. We appreciate every single one of you. Now, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat when we actually go live. So you don't miss any of this great, great content. Okay? And for Facebook, give us some hearts. Share it to the world. And let them know the hot seat is in full effect. All right? Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day day and uh, go out there and kill it all right enjoy your weekend enjoy your weekend guys Bye, see guys. you next friday bye